back to my channel for today I'm gonna be working outside in the greenhouse basically just organizing everything inside it and making sure that there is no dry leaves or babies around my main plant and I'm basically gonna put them in better containers as obviously if they're overgrowing or they're too big already for that certain container I just go ahead and move it into a larger one and yeah let's do this together as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Adromiscus cristatus or key lime pie succulent, one of my very favorites. I made this pot for it and it goes really well together with its colors. I had painted these pots a while back and I was waiting for the right moment to use them and this was it. This is the project I wanted to use them for finally after a good six months or so because I did get into the habit of buying a lot of these pots because they're really, really cheap. Specifically in stores like the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. But right now I'm trying to tuck in the soil underneath the plant and one of them is protruding outward. It's not wanting to cooperate with me and it's gonna have its way and I'm just gonna let it because I'm a pushover. <laughs> and here you have it, my finished product. Nice and pretty and suitable for its size. Now we're going to get started with my Domino's Cacti. This is one of my ultimate favorite cacti in the world because this cacti made me realize how much I actually appreciated cacti before I even wanted to buy them and collect them. So I saw this bloom about a year ago in spring I believe and it was one of the most beautiful things in the world. It was a white bloom and it lasted for about three days and then it bloomed again I think a couple more times after that so that was pretty cool. As you can see here this cacti has developed some yellow spots and I definitely do think that that is due to the overexposure of water and that's on my end so I need to stop myself. For this cacti right here, I'm going to remove it because this pot doesn't have any drainage and due to the frostbite, it lost some of its leaves in the bottom so I just have to go ahead and remove it, clean it up a little bit and then place it in a pot that is suitable for the size of this aloe. This is a beautiful aloe, I really really like it because it is one of the first aloes that I purchased. Due to the long leaves of this plant, I will not place it two underneath the soil because we do want this little guy to be nice and comfortable so something cool about this aloe is that it grows fairly quickly and probably by the end of next year it's gonna probably have doubled its size so I'm definitely really excited to show you guys how fast this aloe grows because it's really pretty and it changes its colors at the edges of the leaves as you can see they're like somewhat pink and reddish but I think that's due to the high amount of stress it's probably been through so now that it's in this new pot I definitely think it's a lot better for it. Now here's my topsy-turvy. This is doing really really well. It had babies and now I'm removing all the dead leaves because I definitely want to expose the babies to more UV radiation so they can grow properly and uh, you know get their shape a little bit faster. This is my Echeveria Pulvinata Ruby Blush and what I'm gonna do with this pot is I'm going to allow the stems to touch the soil mainly because the stems begin to dry up at certain points of the plant due to the frostbite in my city. So this allowed for the nutrient and water deprivation of the main leaves that ultimately made them stagnant in their development. So what I'm doing is basically taking it apart and allowing the stems to go underneath the soil so they can root and allow for an easier, shorter pathway to water and nutrients. I'm actually really happy about this plant because it wasn't doing so well a few months ago before winter and now it is growing dramatically. It is crazy how fast these flowers are growing, honestly. Here is my bear's paw or cotyledon tomentosa and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it into a smaller container so it can retain its water better. It's not growing as fast as I thought it would. So what I'm going to do is try to expose it to a lot more sunlight, even though I know that these leaves are fairly delicate. 
For the next three succulent arrangements, I will basically remove some of the smaller succulents from my propagating station and put them in their own individual pots because it's definitely time for that and I want them to grow much bigger and just I want them to have a little bit more space so they can expand their roots as well. And there's a second one and there's the third one. For today, I'm going to be working with these tools right here and the gloves that I'm showing you are actually those that are super long and they go on top of your elbow which I really really like when I'm working outside and I got this little, this one here, this little tool for Christmas as well as all these, these three and so I haven't really used them yet and I felt like I should probably just take them out and leave them in the greenhouse just in case I need them sometimes and I really do want to use this apron because I do feel like I get dirty sometimes like little particles of soil get on my shirt and like it makes me just want to change in my shirt I left my succulents outside all night and so this is how they're doing I think they're doing really really well you can see I have my greenhouse right here and it's not getting any light or any sun through it so I feel like that's probably not the best place to put it perhaps somewhere over there could, could be a better place it's about to be three o'clock and the sun is still shining over here i'm not sure if that's going to be too much sun exposure whenever the summer gets here because i know it gets pretty hot for today i'm going to be working on these pots right here i need to separate these two cacti and then completely distort these pots right here and then i definitely do want to break this up and then put something else in there because i don't know i feel like they're not doing very well you can already see some babies wanting to bloom out. There's one, there's another one. But I feel like this one right here is not getting that much sun exposure, which is why I moved these. As you can see, the size is not that big compared to the other ones. And that's also a sign of it not producing enough energy for itself to just basically grow adequately. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is put on our gloves, trying to keep things as neat as possible because we are working with a lot of germs and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to be using this quite yet, or am I? Actually, I think I might, so I'm just going to leave it here and then, ooh, I need to put my apron on. I should probably do this without my gloves. Guys, so now we can carry our tools in here. Look at that. And we can carry our trash. That is pretty neat. Okay, so let's just be real careful because this one's blooming, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Come off. Okay, there it goes. It's out. Before I even did this, I should have done something else. I should have just cleaned that up. It's okay. It's fine. Because we have some babies to deal with. So, I was looking at this pot earlier today. Actually, it was yesterday. And I was, I was looking at it and I was like, oh my goodness, there's babies coming out of the stems. That is so cool. So, I'm not going to just like throw this all away. Because I see babies. And these are like Vera Higgins. I really like these. And then these, I have so many and they sprout so easily. So I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't really want them. You know, a mistake to even add them on here because I knew they were just going to take over everything. Now this, I can just dispose. I think that is good enough. Now I'm going to give some water to these little babies because I haven't fed them in like a week or a week and a half and it's definitely time to feed them guys. So I turned this baby off and now we just need some soil. Done, guys. 
guys. So the next one I want to work on is actually right here next to me. So it's perfect. I'm going to move this. Okay, so here they are, guys. And I definitely do like the length of the stems. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to do cuttings or anything like that. I just definitely just want to put them in something different because I don't think they're getting enough sunlight to where they are or where this hangs. And it's definitely just really hard to just carry this around everywhere instead of just leaving it there. So what I'm going to do, since I already replaced the soil in this, in this pot a while ago, and not even a month ago, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take these and place them right in there. Oh my god! I got soil on me. Okay guys, you got them all. You shall not fear. Okay, so we're just gonna stick it in there. And then once it's all in there, we get to adjust to where they go. Now let's put more soil in so it can stay stable. You need to make sure that the small succulents are at a good position where it's receiving a good amount of sun and it's not covering, the top ones are not covering the bottom ones basically because if that happens then your plant is going to start dying because it's not creating enough photosynthesis so it's not creating enough energy to sustain itself. So we need to grab the tinies. I think I'm going to put them at the end. Not that one because that one's good but that one needs a little bit more soil underneath. And I don't think it has any right now, so let's put more soil. But I think I need my smaller, my smaller tool now. Working with chopsticks, not chopsticks. What am I saying? Lollipop sticks. Yesterday, and I think this is a really good idea to to work with whenever you're working with succulents because they are delicate and their leaves to prop up super easily. So it's good to have something in hand that's a lot smaller than your fingers. So there you have it guys. I really like how this is turning out. I need to make sure that these are more centered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and press down with the help of these right here. I do think that this pot is going to help them grow even bigger and that is the ultimate goal for any person who you know cares about succulents. I really do like to see them grow as large as they possibly can. Here you have it everybody. That is what I came up with. I know it looks a little bit like empty so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add rocks to it. The ones that I want to use are actually these fiery volcano rocks because it would make a really good contrast of course with the pot and then um, I think it just it would look really pretty. Um, if I wasn't gonna put this color rocks on this pot I would put white ones and I do have white ones, I just don't want to get them and I feel like this is probably a really good combination of colors that I really really like too. These are the ones that need to be removed. I finally found the pot and this is what I'm going to go with because most of the pots that I have are really big and I don't really want to put them in a big pot. So let's just get this out. Oh my. I really do want to turn these over. Oh my god, you can't see. I'm just going to hold it. And then I'm going to put soil around it. Here I have a small pot. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. It's way too tall for it, but it should be fine. Anything like that, go ahead and write me down below. Until next time, happy propagating.